Greetings, and welcome back to Stellaris, my Commonwealth of Man playthrough. When I was reviewing the footage while editing it for last episode, I noticed that Chimera was, like, stuck in this hyperlane in transit. And that could be why they glitched back to being missing in action yet again, because they were trapped in a hyperlane. Now, it may be that they've gotten so bugged until I actually claim them all or conquer them all or go to war with these people or get open borders that they're going to constantly be going into missing in action which sucks also I renamed Bergolfa Prime to be Osiris it was a random name and my plan over here is I'm going to claim these two nearby systems this one is only 22 and this one I think is 45 because it has a colony and a starbase in it. After I get those cheap claims on those two, get the shardlings cleared out of here so I can begin a cheap construction of a starbase here, because it is going to be just one hop from my territory, then I will spin this off into another vassal, because I will already have spent the influence necessary to build this starbase and already have gotten these cha claims cheaply. So that the next time I go to war, I can get these two sectors and build there and spin these three off into a, another vassal after getting cheap claims on all of the adjoining systems. After I do that, the next war against them, I will end up getting a claim on that system that system and basically all the remaining systems uh, after I get this system I can go ahead and spin this off into that uh, with these three with a colony developed there this one I would probably have to get this one before I actually lay claim to their final few systems over here I would have to go ahead and get L Lindula so that I could spin these three off into another vassal and then have all of these be a final vassal. And I can, after I start getting some of these, go ahead and go forward and claim these because I'm not worried about them attacking me because I'm on their borders. Screw them. I can handle them. Mullineau Mining Industries renewed their Pledge of Loyalty for 20,000 consumer goods. That's a 2.5 monthly loyalty change instead of the usual 1.5. I'm still not sure why some Pledge of Loyalties are more valuable. Medusa has been fully repaired. It is also in the process of being reinforced because none of the ships it was missing required minor artifacts. Glost Rohanian Confederacy is in a migration treaty with the Hierarchy of Moffith. Fortress Legionnaires are now fully repaired. So let's go ahead and move them in orbit of their home base. Well, I can just tell them return. I doubt they will upgrade. But reinforcements should be upgraded. Federician League is in a commercial pact with the Citizens Alliance of Orkham Fung. I realize that the claims my allies have on these systems will not be realized unless I invite them to the war with us. So unless I get Bags Holdings to join the war or the great human empire to join the war their claims don't mean anything on these systems they have to be in the war for that to happen and I'm curious no not the hierarchy of Moffath let's see if I declare war and invite attackers can I invite my vassals no no I do not have the option to invite my vassals so if I wanted these two to join the wars, I would have to renegotiate their contracts before I go to war against the Veterisians. Construction complete. 
Finn Habanus has shifted its last anchorage over to a habitation module. The first module of the four research wings is now in place, and researchers and staff are already moving into the living quarters. The next and final step of construction will extend the wings, adding four sections of laboratories equipped to support our most dangerous research. Extensive security measures are being taken to ensure the staff's safety. So 10 years we will have the final stage of the research wings or the science nexus done. Science division report success. Global production strategy. Planets are big and production sites are often separated by vast distances. A coherent strategy for making certain that everyone is pulling in the same direction is often needed. Oh, we can finally get the alien zoo. Botanical transgenesis allows us to add botanical traits to organic species. That would take about three and a half years. I'm curious what that's going to add. Though there's not really too awfully much more modification I can do to my species. Construction complete. We got the last station in orbit of this system. Let's just go ahead and move to Gargantua. With the plan to head in there after we clear it out. Just booted out another science ship of the Rakudans. They ought to just give up. Actually, no, we just decloaked them. We didn't technically boot them out, it appears. Alright, it's claiming Strike Force Chimera is back. And they are in Deneb. Enter orbit of Deneb Station. Science Division report success. Negative time keys. Our latest advances in encryption exploit recently discovered quirks of physics to require inputting a specialized key before it has been generated. All right, now we need to start knocking out some of this cheap stuff just for the technology credit. So we'll get speculative hyperlane breaching. That'll take six months. All right, one day left. We want to make sure this passes. We need 250k. You know what? I'm just going to call in all of these favors just to be sure. At last, the Galactic Senate has voted to bestow emergency custodianship powers upon the Commonwealth of Man. In an official ceremony broadcast across the galaxy, we were opponent appointed custodians of the galactic community. As the first among equals, we have been charged with safeguarding the galactic community from all potential threats, be they internal or external. Who would seek it harm? We have been granted vast powers in all community matters and can now propose special resolutions. Now we can get things done. All right, let's go ahead and get administrative operations as our empire continues to grow. Eliminating corruption and inefficiency is of critical importance. These credit drains must be plugged. So a reduction of building upkeep and district upkeep. And it'll be four and a half years before we get our next one. Now, if we go here... This will block it from being moved to the Senate floor for four years, but that cost influence. One more year, I can do another emergency measure. Being the custodian is 10% more weight than a regular council. Actually, no, 30% more weight than a regular council member, plus 30% custodian and plus 20 council member. Resolutions. Development aids would be a good one to, rep uh, to propose. I would gain even more diplomatic weight, but lose a little bit of income. 
and cost everybody else diplomatic weight. And also champions of the community would give me more naval capacity at the expense of everybody else's naval capacity. Well that will increase my monthly influence but reduce my monthly energy credits and I'm all for that. More influence would be great and I have a surplus of energy credits. The anti-piracy initiative and not that big to me. Galactic institutions. I could create a galactic defense force under my command. I could institute the Interstellar Navigation Agency, which uh, boosts galactic sublight speed. The Galactic Trade Organization boosts trade value. And the Galpol reduces crime. Okay, so the term limit is currently 30 years, I believe. I'm going to need to remove the term limit before I can actually become an emperor. Uh, Senate voting sessions can be prematurely ended after half their duration. And that means that if it is actually in favor at a certain point, I can call it then. I can freeze a resolution for 48 months. The galactic focus can be changed without having to propose a resolution. And ships may freely enter the territory of any member. So I have complete border access to all members of the galactic community. There are currently no situations to focus on. Ah, oh, there's my term. 10,800 days would be 30 years. Okay, freeze costs the same regardless of the measure, it appears. Whereas veto is based upon the cost. Though it does appear my veto has gotten a little bit cheaper. Because I believe this one was 450. Now it is half that. Yeah, it's about 225. So yes, my vetoes are now half cost, being the Galactic Custodian. Yeah, veto cost 50%, veto cooldown 50%, emergency measure cooldown 50%. So I'm going to be a lot more active in vetoing things. That's kind of pointless now that I'm already the Custodian. I need to let a little bit more bank up before I start getting active here again. Right now, building a better tomorrow will be the next one. I would like to propose one that I really want to pass. It's a little early to remove the term limit. I've got time to do that. Galactic mobilization might be nice, but I think the introduced galactic standards is probably one I am going to propose and then emergency measure within the next year or two. I also want to get some of these, like Champions of the Community and Development Aids through. Ah, oh, I get five extra for being the Galactic Custodian. Star Realm of Shar wants to repeal regulated growth. Right now it's going to fail. So I've got to wait two years before I can call it and go ahead and end it. So yes, my influence will be skyrocketing a bit, finally. We have a new proposal. Minor research sanctions, reproposed by the Ocularan Interplanetary Confederacy. Which does remind me, yeah, it cannot be proposed for 10 years after it has failed. So we don't have to worry about that one for 10 years. Whereas if I veto something, it can be immediately reproposed, I believe. first chamber. The alien glyphs above the door have been translated as follows. I am Zarklan, the guardian of Mots Tarb, the prophet of Zva. In a galaxy awash with spite and hatred, I have chosen to seclude myself here. Proceed if ye be worthy. After combing through the first chamber for anything of interest, archaeologists discovered a tiny concealed wall panel. When pressed, the ancient door rumbled open. The second chamber can now be accessed. 
Glossrahenian have ended their rivalry with the Fell Knoll. Allied Maltics built a gateway. A human superior is for sale again. Another cyborg, not interested in them. We have a new proposal. Minor economic sanctions been reproposed by the Kravadox League. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Speculative hyperlane breaching. Solitary science ships can break out of the naturally occurring hyperlanes and attempt to navigate to known but otherwise unreachable destinations. All right, let's go ahead and knock out planetary shields next. That will take nine months. Neutronium materials. This incredibly dense and strong material can resist firepower that would turn armor made of any other alloys into slag. It would take a little under two years to get superfluid materials. For more engineering research, we'll do that one. Now we can retrofit some of our ships to have the new armor. Tender Sun built a branch office in Osiris. Oh, they've been gobbling up this area. The interstellar Picarians have. So much for getting this unclaimed stuff, oh well. We have a new proposal, moderate administrative sanctions by the Star Realms of Shar. Stronger measures are needed to ensure compliance with galactic law. I support that. Ships refitted. Allied Multics built a gateway. Chimera has been fully refitted with the new armors. Ships refitted. Medusa has been fully refitted with the new armors. Vitarician League is in a defensive pact with the Fel Null Cooperative. United Crush Commonality is in a non-aggression pact with the Vitarians. And so is the Democratic Glaren Union. The Interstellar Picarian Coalition has managed to remove the lockdown from the L Gate under their control. Evidently, the L Cluster is home to some kind of advanced spacefaring civilization known as the Dasanu Con uh, Consonants. Now that the connection to their home cluster has been restored, the Dasanu have transmitted reactivation codes to all remaining L Gates in the galaxy. They are also transmitting a greeting message on an open subspace channel. Denizens of the Galaxy, greetings from the Dasanu Consonants. Aeons ago, we oversaw the construction of the gateways and L gates that you may have seen abandoned. Our intention was to build a galactic network of such devices, but alas, a horrible mistake rendered the L gates unusable, stranding us in our home cluster. But this age of isolation has finally come to an end thanks to the clever scientist of the Interstellar Picarian Coalition. Now that the L-Gates are active again, we invite everyone to make free use of them to shorten galactic travel times. Our star cluster is open to everyone, except the Widra system. Do not go there. The Interstellar Picarian Coalition has managed to remove the lockdown from the L-Gate under their control. They now have full access to the distant L-Cluster. As an apparent side effect of this, all other L gates in the galaxy are showing increased signs of activity as well. At the rate their self-correcting software is making adjustments, their maintenance cycle should also terminate within a matter of years. Interstellar Picarian Coalition will now guarantee the independence of the Vetericians. The Bergolfa system gateway is now in place, or the site is at least, so let us begin the upgrade. 
and we are now on our way to our vassal to begin constructing a site there. So now that we have started upgrading this gateway site, it will be three years before it is open. No, five years before it is open, and we can start moving our fleets through to get ready to attack the Gandler of Revenant and begin clearing out the Shardlings. Ship refitted. All of our Starbase fleets have been fully upgraded with the new armor. Why are you in transit? For some reason it built you at Polygar instead of safe system. Okay, so I've got to wait for this last reinforcement to reappear for Pegasus. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. For me to begin the upgrades of Pegasus. Planetary Shields. Generating a strong energy shield within a planetary atmosphere is a greater challenge than in the vacuum of space. But it offers a potent defense against orbital bombardment. Alright, let's go ahead and knock out synchronized defense grids. That will take a little mm -hmm. under two years. Rakuten Imperium is in a migration and treaty with the Kravidox League. Mm -hmm. United Nations of Earth has built a gateway. Another one of those cyborg humans on the slave market. Star Realms of Shar have declared the Fel Null their rival. Now that that final cruiser has merged here, we can go ahead and tell these ships to upgrade. Afterwards, we will have them finish their reinforcement. Interstellar Picarian is in a non-aggression pact with the Star Realms of Shar. Allied Baltics built a Ships gateway. Refitted. Strike Force Scylla is fully refitted with the new armors. Ships refitted. Strike Force Gorgon has been refitted with the new armor. Ships refitted. Dragon is now fully refitted. It just leaves Pegasus to refit and reinforce, and it is almost done refitting. Ships refitted. Pegasus is refitted, so I will begin the reinforcement in January. Our spy master and the Soaring Combined Clans acquired a new asset. We have a bureaucrat, good for preparing sleeper cells or stealing technology. I'm now able to use my power to immediately, immediate session conclusion. I think I will. Wait, that cost influence. I guess I'll wait two years. I don't want to spend that much influence right now when I've got other things to develop. It's going to fail anyway. At Norum Imperium was given association status success. with the Allied Independent Systems and ended it within about three days. Superfluid materials. The study of superfluidity promises to many quantum to marry quantum mechanics with the fundamental interaction of gravity. In six months, we can knock out the destroyer hull points. I decided to let Pegasus reinforce from wherever it wanted to. I figured by the time that these all got here, since we now have gateways and um, hyper relay, it shouldn't take too awfully long. Looks like the longest will take three months. United mm -hmm. Nations of Earth built another gateway. Wait a minute. Their first gateway was in the Sirius section sector, wasn't it? Did they build two gateways in the Sirius sector? Mm. 
They've got two serious sectors? What the hell? Well, there's an interesting glitch. Apparently, it generated Sirius twice for uh, them. Federation League is in a research agreement with the Star Realms of Shar. The second chamber is unremarkable, aside from another set of alien glyphs above a closed door. They read... Petty kings issued edicts in my name. Empires waged war in my honor. Fools sang my praises. I would have none of it. No secret wall panel has yet been found that would provide access to the third chamber. United Nations of Earth is in a migration treaty with the Interstellar Picarian Coalition. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Improved destroyer hulls. Advances in building techniques will allow for the construction of sturdier and more durable destroyers. Let's go ahead and knock out the advanced destroyer hulls. We'll have that in nine months. Got some energy credits from the Fortress Legionnaires. And I need to spin some things. Well, first, we need to sell some food that ought to keep us fat and happy till January oh we sold a Merovandian slave I had a extra slave that was unemployed you know let's go ahead and buy a thousand more of each of these just to get our energy credits down a little more at Norm Imperium declared the Star Realm of Shar their rival. United Latrepian domains. The bulwark prefabs have expired between us and them. All of our fleets are at full capacity except for Fortress Legionnaires. I traded a hundred of each of the main strategic resources for a 30-year deal. Science Division reports success. Botanical Transgenesis. With some artificial encouragement, the evolutionary adaptations found in botanical species can be replicated in other forms of life. It'll take about two and a half years to get another Ascension perk and the Unity Ambitions. But let's take a quick look at what we can do Phototrophic, radiotrophic, budding, and I think that's pretty much all it's going to add from them. We could cut down on some of our food upkeep or mineral upkeep and make things use more energy credits for only one, and that may be worth doing. Well, I've got no trait picks left. I mean, I could always ditch communal for phototrophic. I think I will cut down on nomadic or, or eliminate nomadic to put it on the Praku. New sit rep. We'll take two months to knock it out with the Furbanites, and then we can get the Praku taken care of. Allied Multics built a gateway. Science Division reports success. Synchronized defenses. Aligning defensive and offensive weapon execution paradigms allows for increased efficiency. All right, in 11 months, we can have the ability to exploit dark matter, even though we don't really have any in our territory. Molino Mining Industries has become more xenophilic after embracing the Alien Justice Center. Does that mean you finally released your slaves? Yes. Apparently you picked up some robots even after I purged them out of this territory. Well, they have residents. Yeah, they haven't completely gotten rid of their xenophobia, apparently. They no longer have 
slaves they just made but they haven't made them citizens <laughs> yeah they cannot enslave entire species I do not know why it keeps auto-generating a new juggernaut class but it's going to take seven years to uh, churn out our juggernaut and let's go ahead and build one because we do have s size set aside for one now that all my fleets are fully reinforced I decided I'm going to move all of my fleets over here to where the Queptilium Archivist have their fleet and then declare war on them. It's going to take me about four months to get over here and then hopefully I can cripple their fleet and that will enable me I'll probably have some fleets that need some serious repairs after this but then we can eventually take the system we have claimed here in Jalora. New species variant available. We modified the Furbanites. Now let's modify the Praku. New sit rep. That should be done in March. And we'll see what impact it has on our minerals upkeep. It went up about 60. Hierarchy of Moffith built a gateway. We established sleeper cells in the United Nations of Earth. Safe gateway site has been constructed. Oh no, the actual gateway has completed. Ah, yes. Marik should be soon. Yep, there goes Marik. New species variant available. We've modified the Praku, so I can get rid of the old version. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Advanced destroyer hulls. The latest generation of destroyer hulls have optimized structural integrity fields and improved bulkheads. Let's go ahead and knock out improved Corvette hulls just to get it off the list, followed by the most likely the upgrade to it. So all of my fleets are now into Yanavec. We are going to declare war to conquer them. Standing by to commence offensive operations. Weapons free. Repeat, weapons free. And engage them. Very well, know that you are not the first upstarts to challenge us. We shall see how long you last. Right now we have max relative navy strength. Fleet action underway. Yes, we got debris out of it at least. All right, so I have a ship somewhere that should be available. I will need a leader, of course. Oh, there's an archaeologist. All right, let's take our current archaeologist. First, let's check all right, 82 days and 
Six skill bonus. Four for the scientist skill. So we lost three for the scientist skill. But being an archaeologist improves the speed, so there's a better chance of her gaining levels. I think that's worth it. We'll go over here to research those projects. Alright, Hippogriff is undamaged. So let's remove Hippogriff from this. And we are going to send everybody else home. Except for Fortress Legionnaires. Which is actually going to go to Caspadine. And Strike Force Hippogriff. Is going to see how well they perform against. Oh, I've got about half of that military power. I think I will have Hippogriff just wait on the others to repair. So I will have Hippogriff go home. Now, what did we lose in this? We did lose two cruisers with Medusa. We lost a huge chunk of ships with Fortress Legionnaire. Hopefully it was ones without jump drives. Hippogriff did lose a cruiser, but the remaining ships did not take any damage. Gorgon lost a lot of ships. Dragon lost battleships. Chimera and Pegasus did pretty well, only losing destroyers and frigates and smaller. And Scylla lost only nine of its destroyers. We did take out two escorts and a battle cruiser. I want to keep that open and not have the background noise. They shot down a lot of our strike craft and missiles. But the Marauder missiles got through. So did the Whirlwind missiles and the advanced strike craft Amoeba Flagella. And I'm having a hard time seeing if the... Did they even make it through the shields? I don't even see the drones. So I think they may have gotten all of the drones we brought. But they had disruptors and plasma cannons. and a Tachyon Lance or two. United Latrepian Domains broke the migration treaty with the Autocracy of Rakaron. This debris has the Dark Matter Deflectors, the Sapient Combat Computers, Dark Matter Thrusters, and Reactor. Allied Multics built a gateway. United Latrepian Domains broke off their research agreement with the Autocracy of Rakaron. We established sleeper cells with the Allied Multics. It says they lost zero ships, but we blew up two of them at least. Or three of them. Mulano Mining Industries are in a research agreement with the Great Human Empire. The gateway site in Deneb is ready to be upgraded. And the construct the CNS factory is getting in position to put a mining habitat around Jackson's planet. Science division report success. Improved Corvette hulls. Advances in building techniques will allow for the construction of sturdier and more durable Corvettes. Yeah, we can go ahead and knock out the final upgrade for Corvettes. We'll have it in seven months. Even though 20% more Corvette hull points is not that much, honestly. Strike Force Scylla is repaired. Strike Force Scylla is at Deneb, but none of its reinforcements are being built at Deneb, which means Deneb is busy. See, Medusa is at Marik. 
can get some of it at Marek. Gorgon is at Deneb, but none of these appear to want to build at Deneb. That's right, none of these will build at Deneb because Deneb is building a juggernaut, so it will not build anything else. Alright, well we've got gateways up at most of these places, so... I will just have Gorgon and Pegasus... Oh, I'm out of alloys. I'll just have most of them churn out wherever. Scylla and Dragon are both fully repaired. Medusa is repaired. United Nations of Earth have finished their science nexus. Fortress Legionnaires are fully repaired. I will send them in alone to deal with Jalora Station. Maybe I can thin out some more of the obsolete units and get a few more of the better ones. There's a lot of battleships to get rid of. Five cruisers, five destroyers that still need to be replaced. And it looks like quite a few corvettes. Battle debris secured. We got a little 20% progress to Sapient Combat Simulations, Dark Matter Power, Dark Matter Propulsion, and Dark Matter Deflectors. So we're going to head back here to Caspadine. Disturbing Vision. Three nights ago, Chief Archaeologist Mayu Nakajima reported having a disturbing vision and has been shut away in their quarters until now. They believe the source to be whatever is down there with us. That cost us some clues. Gorgon is repaired. Only Chimera left to repair. And it just got repaired. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Dark Matter Drawing. This exotic substance has many properties that seemingly defy the laws of physics. Harvestable's concentrations can only be found near black holes or in certain nebula. So the Dark Matter Resonance Chamber... Hmm... That's a building that it says every three detection arrays provide one detection strength. Dark Matter Power, I think, is what I really need. That will take 42 months. Kraku Holy State built a uh, science nexus. Huh. Alright, we need these fleets to combine. And to move there. Hisman Protectors finally made peace with the Star Realm of Shar with a status quo. Engaging enemy station. Let's see how well you do. We've lost contact with our operatives in the United Nations of Earth. That's going to delay us stealing technology. We need to renew our deal with the curators and our logistical support contract with our mercenary company. We have the Fortress Legionnaires for a few more years, so I'm going to wait and see how many of them survive this combat before I see about renewing the fleet contract. And the Veterician League are in a defensive pact with the Star Realm of Shar. Any other contracts I need to renew at the 10-year mark? Ah, yes. I do need to share technology with my mercenaries but it has been another five years so thank you all for watching and hopefully we'll see you next time